What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. D Money Ali, hey man, any dangers for a pool man? Tablet dust and light pool water. By the way, Eminem at Hip Hop Awards looked phony. Now we'll make another video regarding chlorine and wearing your gold jewelry in a pool but for this video we're going to talk about that rope chain so let's get started don't forget to follow me on instagram at jacoji fine jewelry visit my website www.jacoji.com and do you see any resemblance here with this jesus piece and this jesus piece of course you do they're identical twins smash that like button smash 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 so there i was just scrolling through my twitter timeline at jacoji jewelry give me a follow and all of a sudden i see a bunch of eminem clips pop up and i'm like wow eminem he's back he is here what's this all about and i see him flame not roast but flame our president donald what's donald trump's middle name <laughs> he looks like a kurt donald kurt trump on this cypher rap freestyle classic Eminem. I grew up listening to Eminem. To me, the best rapper of all time. And I noticed one thing I like a lot of you guys did because everyone was dropping comments after they saw that cypher about his rope chain. And that was the first thing, other than like those pauses he was doing, like you'd say like five words and then pause. But other than that, the rope chain stood out to me. And also just the thickness, the overall look it brought but as well as the purity and kind of the look of that rope chain because it looked a little off in my opinion. Now there's three things we have to talk about in this video. Uh, the millimeter size, the purity, and also just the overall look a thick rope gives you. Um, if I was to take an educated guess, Backwoods wants to know um, what I thought the millimeter thickness. I, if I was to take a guess, I would say between a 12, 14 millimeter, no more, no less. No more, no less. It is a thick rope chain that just draws a lot of attention because, I mean, it caught my eye when I first saw the cypher. So, and I know a lot of you guys too. Now, the purity, that is a tough question. That's kind of why I want to do this video just to talk about and see what you guys think. I ruled out 14 karat automatically because that's primarily what I work with. 18 karat, it just doesn't look 18. It's definitely not 24 karat. I would have to say, just an educated guess, either 10 karat or just a fake chain. Now, before everyone jumps on me and says Eminem's worth millions, why would he? I, I just don't really think that it matters to him in that video if it's a 14 karat or 18 karat gold rope chain to him. And, and I don't remember growing up, I wasn't really into jewelry then. I don't really remember Eminem being like into jewelry like that. So it could just be like, some people don't really care. They'll wear fake. They don't, they're not going to want to spend whatever it is for a real chain when the fake chain to them looks real. So that's the other thing. I just, it, it looks like if you look at it and it's hard on a video as opposed to seeing it in person. I know a lot of you guys can know things look different, but to me, automatically it looked fake or at best 10 carats. So that's my guess. Overall though, when you wear a rope chain like that, and I've sold some thick rope chains and it's a certain look and he's got that look. Whoever was his stylist, whoever told him what to wear, if there was, it was brilliant because the rope chain is perfect, served that way. I, I don't think a Miami Cuban link would have given that look or any other chain besides a thick rope chain, like a 30, 32 inch like he was doing. It was swinging around, it was awesome. It stood out, he didn't need a custom charm, he's old school. You see all these rappers now with like 50 billion little charms on and they're up here and they're down there and they're everywhere and all different colors, which is fun, which is good, we all love it. But sometimes just keeping it simple and classic for what you're doing is better than, you know, all that loud, the diamonds, and it's good. I like to throw on all my chains sometimes too and just hear them clink around. It's a good feeling, but sometimes, like in this video, he did it right with just a thick, solitaire 30, 32 inch. That's the length I would wear a thicker rope chain. I would definitely go longer because I feel like that's how these thicker chains should be worn. So that's my overall opinion. Let me guys, let me know down below what you guys think. If it's real, the millimeter width, and overall, was that the best chain to go with? Thank you for watching, and we will see you on our next jewelry video.